Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I just wanted to make a quick video here because the price of Bitcoin here on my computer is reaching all-time highs pretty much every day the past few weeks. It's been up there. Uh, if we go up here to, let's see, this is each one of those lines equals one day. If I zoom out, you can see like everywhere here it's been reaching all-time highs, here all-time highs, here, 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 here. Anyway, one Bitcoin is now worth $2,000 plus or minus. And uh, yeah, just about an hour ago on uh, the Bitstamp uh, exchange, it hit the $2,000 mark. So yeah, I just uh, thought I would share that with you guys. I'm really excited about it. I got into Bitcoin back in 2013 and everybody called me stupid and um, oh yeah, it's magical, stupid internet money and everything. So yeah, it's doing pretty good. I'm glad I didn't listen to anybody else and I did what I believed was right. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with everybody. Um, I believe that Bitcoin, this is, no, I actually can't, I can't recommend anybody buy it. However, I do think it's a good idea to own one, at least one. Uh, if you look at the weekly chart up here, okay, each one of these lines equals one week. Every one of these lines is one week. Uh, if you look at the pattern here, down here is the first bubble. It went up to 200 bucks, 200 something dollars, 240 or something. Then it dipped down to about $80. And this is when I got into it back here. And I bought a couple bitcoins back here. And then it just started taking off and it went up to uh, $1,200 right here. And I actually sold a couple of them right in the $800 area, right about here. And I still had a bunch of Bitcoins left and I held on to them. And, mm. and at that point I just kept buying more. So in this whole area here for a period of a couple months, I bought 10 to $20 worth on automatic buys every single day, uh, automatic purchases on Coinbase, and yeah, uh, I moved to Colorado and this area here, and as soon as I moved here, it seemed to start jet jetting upwards, and it kept going and kept going and kept going, and like I said, yeah, right now we're here. Now, of course, this pattern here. This little, it's shaped like a, the letter J right there, with a really tall uh, line for the, this side of the J. Well, if you look at this, it's the same pattern, just gigantic. And if that happens, um, we're going to be looking at about $28,000 a bit. I don't like to say numbers, but if you do the math, actually, there was um, a Reddit post, and a guy did the charts, and he did the math and everything. This here is... Um, projected to go to 28 to 32 thousand dollars before it comes before it drops back down to you know maybe this level here might come back down to the sixteen hundred dollar mark but that's a crazy jump uh, I'll believe it when I see it but that you know twelve hundred dollars right here seemed like Im impossible even up here at this bubble you know, then it went back down, and then this is when a lot of people sold off, and they're like, "Oh, that was that was fun, that was the end," and then all of a sudden, um, actually, like right about here is when the Silk Road got busted. Actually, it was like right, it was like right in here, like right there. The Silk Road got busted, and like the price of Bitcoin dropped a little bit, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it just went straight up. And yeah, after that it went down, and I didn't notice this cup right here, this cup shape, until it started coming over here. I was like, man, if this if this continues, that could be a perfect. And it's happening. So 
up here is what you would call well I mean up here is what you would call the moon back here the moon is a uh, it's a terminology used by um, Bitcoiners like myself we would say you know to the moon and I think we're getting there but um, a lot of people don't believe this is the moon people are saying you know 10,000 100,000 um, stupid crazy numbers but they're not so crazy when you think about how w my frame of thought down here and then this happened so yeah I mean down in here this is this is like the one dollar two dollar area and before that even uh, before Bitstamp was dealing with Bitcoin there it, it even goes back even further uh, they were you know pennies on the dollar for a Bitcoin anyway um, just wanted to share that with everybody and this is the end of the video here and I thank everybody for watching and um, maybe it's not the end of the video real quick uh, I can't say to buy a Bitcoin because they are expensive but you can buy a fraction of a Bitcoin you can buy 0 0.001 Bitcoin you just go on Coinbase and you have to give them all your information and everything but uh, don't spend more than you can afford to lose I'll put it this way if everybody on earth had a Bitcoin well first of all everybody on earth can't own a full Bitcoin there's only ever going to be 21 million Bitcoins and there's seven billion people on the planet earth so therefore if you do the math each person should have like 0, 0.0 maybe another zero one bitcoin something like that not a lot so if you can't afford it now buy a little bit of bitcoin and um, put it on a paper wallet put it in your safe lock it up um, yeah that's what that's what I would do if I was if I did not own Bitcoin at this point and I know what I know right now I would definitely buy a little bit um, okay I think I'm gonna end the video because I'm getting um, kinda blank minded here and uh, oh well I guess I could show you this I um, I put together my backpack whoops wrong and eh, I'm not gonna show you I'll, I'll say that for another video I put together my um, my backpack, um, kind of not really a survival type of bag, but I should be able to live in the woods with it for up to about a week, uh, not much more than a week without comfort. <sighs> uh, yeah. Um, what do you think? Time for a haircut? Put it in the comments. Anyway, talk to you later.